Hello, my name is Peter, and today I want to talk about a problem is an opportunity for you to shine. A problem is an opportunity for you to shine. Firstly, I want to give you a proper greeting. Thank you, Om Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. So, a problem is an opportunity for you to shine. So, let's just wind back before this lockdown was happening. I was a Qigong teacher in my local area, doing lots of great stuff lots of great stuff between 10 and 15 classes a week seeing about 150 people a week and I was really helping people improve their lives enormously improving them in great ways and so many testimonials so many letters so many cards I've been written to saying thank you so much Peter you've really shown me a different way of seeing things you've really improved my well-being you've really helped me open my vision up you've, you've increased my intuition this and that and I've done loads of things I'm not blowing my own trumpet I'm just saying this is what was happening this is where I'm, I'm coming to the problem my problem was when lockdown came all of that went I'd set up a charity as well helping the elderly with Qigong and the charity is going really well we've, we've got an impact report where the impact report was showing the same I had to get the charity recognized by the charity commission to be a health and well-being activity and through how i did that was through peer-reviewed studies on qigong and tai chi on how it was a health and well-being activity and i did that they, they kept asking questions and questions and questions i kept sending back more reports more reports more scientific reports and they accepted it and our impact study by to living on the kingston area was the same outcome as the scientific research that was being done on, on Qigong and Tai Chi. So all this was really growing really well, really getting big, I was getting recognised, I was going into local councils and local uh, companies and stuff doing Qigong and breathing exercises, meditation and all that. And it was it was it was going so well, so well, it was it was amazing. And all that stopped overnight, literally <laughs> Whoa! The momentum was good. Got lots of people behind me, pushing me, and getting me in the right position. So that was a problem. And I went, oh, oh my goodness, you know. So I started up an online Qigong class. I'm still running them today on, on Sundays and Wednesdays. You should try it out if you haven't tried it yet. Very good for your connecting your mind, your body, and your breath. So I set, set that up, and I thought, well, this is this is nowhere near the income that I have. I had and I was like we've gone down to virtually nothing now it's building up again thank, thank goodness for the people who do donate to the classes I didn't want to go into like smaller classes and restrict the amount of people that could do it never done that all my classes that I was doing outside was always there was always a low rate a middle rate and a high rate and you could trust people because they were coming in after they had done a bit of training they would mainly if they could afford it they'd pay the high rate if they were a bit hard up that week, they'd pay the middle rate. If they were like really unfortunate, they'd pay the low rate. And it was built on trust. It was a wonderful thing. I want to do the same thing online, which is a bit more difficult because you can't see the people who come to you. But the ones who've been training with me have done that. It's wonderful people. Oh my goodness, they're wonderful people. So they, they pay the middle of the high rate. And I say, well, you pay what you think it's worth. And they, and they do. My goodness me they do so they, but it's not anywhere near the income that i was having so that's a major problem for me so what i've done, decided to do I'm, I'm setting up online courses which is and taking a lot of the business that i do online now so i'm going to be running these online and i'm setting up the bright beings academy so there's a problem here and i'm moving the problem over to here and it's taking time which is fine and Luckily, I've got enough that I'm, I'm surviving with, so and I'm being able to put money into this new online business. And I'm, I'm on a course at the moment, trying to push it, which is great. And I've got a webinar coming up. It'll be out by the time this video comes out, so it'll be out now. So you've got a webinar now. You can do 45-minute free training on meditation, five types of meditation. And then that will go on to a... a call with me if you want to take a call with me and we can talk about how your meditation sessions are going and whether you want to go on the course with me which is a uh, 22 week course which is me and you together 
So there, there's that, that was the problem that I had and I could see the problem that I had to overcome. At the same, when I was younger as well, there was problems when I couldn't sing. And I, I could get bass player, I was a bass player, professional bass player for 10 years, I could get bass player auditions quite easily. And I made sure of that because I went, some of the auditions I went to, I couldn't get them. And then I went to bass college, learnt everything I needed to do, tapping, snapping, reggae, funk, rock, jazz even. <laughs> Jazz. I used to play with John Etheridge in, in, in his classes. I was the featured bass player to, to play with him. Uh, he's a fantastic up there, God, jazz a player. Brilliant, brilliant. And it was a fantastic experience to sit there and run through autumn leaves and things like that with him. So while I was learning bass, I was playing with, with the master. <laughs> it's like incredible. So that made me a bass player that you, it was only on my personality that you would not hire me. It wasn't because of my bass playing. And because I was quite fiery then, and really coming from like ego position, that was difficult for a lot of people. Because I, you know, I say, well, I can do this, you know, I'm really good. Which is wrong, but that's what you had to do in those days with grabbing. When you're grabbing, when you're in that world and that circumstance, you're grabbing. So I had to learn to sing. So I did learn to sing. And then therefore the, the, it opened up when I could do backing vocals, it opened up more opportunities. So that was fantastic. So was, that was a problem. I overcame it with knowledge and learning, which is what we all need to do. If we've got a problem, look at it as an opportunity to shine, because then you can increase your skill set, and then open up, open yourself up to more of what you're doing. Same when I started with Qigong. When I started as a Qigong instructor, I didn't know anything really. I, I, the, the opportunity arose for me to take over from a lady who was teaching in an elderly community centre. And I really hadn't even thought about teaching, to tell you the truth, hadn't even thought about teaching. So I went on to the, I went to as many classes as I could that Body and Brain were doing in, in the local area uh, to do with Qigong. And then I, I started to look on the internet to find more resources to, to learn more about the Qigong and the, the ethos of it. And it's empirical evidence rather than you do get scientific research saying that it works but in, the empirical evidence is the most important and I see that you do certain exercises in certain ways so you do one side of the body and then say compare that to the other side that's your empirical evidence that it's working for you oh yeah this shoulder feels so much better than this one okay we better do this one then. so we do this shoulder and all these problems I saw as a, an instructor I thought well I need to know this how can I do that? So I had to work these things out for myself. And what did it do? It gave me the opportunity to shine. To shine. After starting that Qigong class, I've been about four or five months, two, three people, five people, seven people, six months, 10, 11, 12 people, eight months, 15, 16, a year, 25 to 30 people turning up after a year, me sitting there learning, and I was <laughs> loving it, I was loving it. Because there was people coming, who I'd never thought would even entertain the meditation and the energy side of it, actually going, this is really fascinating. And I thought, yeah, you're getting it, you're getting it. Your body is far more amazing than you think. And we don't ever, we, we call it life force energy, they call it ki, chi in the east, but we call it life or something. In India, they call it prana, prana, energy. It's all there. And it's getting people to do that. And I, I, shone, I shone, I started to shine. And so I decided I'm gonna become an instructor with this. So I went for the training and started. And again, started off one, two people coming to class, three people, five. 10, and then I think the biggest class I had in New Malden was 36 people turned in up to class, which was incredible amount of people, just for, for a, a normal, regular Qigong class. Wow, I shone, shone like a star. And then I went to gyms, and I went over to Egham, and I was uh, went into a council meeting. Unbelievable council meeting that I'm sitting there talking about the chakra system and the meridians to these council workers. <laughs> it's like bizarre. 
And yeah, they were like, oh, okay, we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. And they paid me to do it. And this is part of my learning curve. So again, that started off two, three, four, five regulars in this horrible little room in the back of this lovely gym. And then 10 people after six months, and they got up to 30 people. And then they had, to, they had to put a block on the classes for people coming in. It was an incredible experience how people were starting to say, this is really working for me. And these were all problems that I had that I had to find more work because I, I, I lost all my session work as a musician. So this was me actually building up my business again and gave me the opportunity to shine. So my passion is obviously people and it's really finding your passion and then looking at the problems that you have and then using them as opportunities for you to shine. You might have to step back and do some learning, which is what I had to do. I've had to do it many times in my life, which is no problem. But then you overcome that and you move it forward, move it forward. So if we all start to do that, we will see problems as opportunities to shine. Good stuff. Keep shining. And I'll see you in the next video. So hang on with that.